But first, we are following breaking news. Part of Clayton County looking more like the Wild West this afternoon. The highway shut down SWAT robots and a forceful takedown after a scary standoff. SWAT swarmed a home near Bimini Drive and Boca Raton Drive. CBS 46's Brittany Edney on the ground right now. Brittany, what in the world happened here? Well, Rick and Sean, you said it right there. It was a very forceful takedown after investigators who there are still some still on scene had to go in and use gas canisters canisters to get this suspect to come out. We are told that the suspect Timothy O'Neill that the, uh, the US Marshal Service got a tip here in Georgia from a branch up in Nebraska that this man O'Neill had threatened to carry out a mass shooting when those officials then came out here to serve a search warrant on O'Neill. That's when he started firing on officers. Uh, we we're told he fired multiple times and then of course this turned into a very large response with multiple state and federal agencies as well as fire EMS and of course as you mentioned we even had the temporary shutdown of multiple lanes along I-75 because where our location is right now it's very close to that interstate situation so for driver and public safety uh, you know various parts of Clayton County have been been very congested today as investigators try to respond to this situation. But again, it did end peacefully. No one was hurt. We're told no hostages were taken in this situation. They did have to go in with those gas canisters in order to get O'Neill to come out. We saw earlier where the uh, EMS went in right outside of the home and where he was being treated. We're told now, of course, he's through going through the processing, uh, going to be processed through the uh, jail and they are taking him from his treatment here at EMS to over to the jail. We still don't know about the charges. Those are currently pending. We are waiting to hear from investigators about uh, what type of charges he will be facing. But at this point, neighbors throughout this area have told me that they are just relieved that nothing uh, worse had happened. And also the fact that multiple agencies took this type of threat very seriously, acted on it, and it really just shows that when people People say uh, something as far as any kind of tip or anything where a threat uh, of a mass shooting is issued where that needs to be taken seriously. So a lot of the homeowners in these uh, in this neighborhood along this street say they're really happy that investigators came out and uh, took control of this situation and that no one else got hurt. We're going to continue to follow up on this and we'll bring you more details as they become available. For now, reporting live, Brittany Yudney, CBS 46 News. Brittany